Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we're going to go and predict, as best as possible, the Copper America 2019. There's so many, like, different international tournaments in June that I figured I have to do it, right? Because I did it with the AFC, I did it with the Nations League, I've done it with so many others, why not continue the trend? Anyway, I'm going to try my best and go through the Copper America. Um, so if, if I get any of these wrong or you don't think that I'm right, don't have a go at me, I'm just trying, okay? Trying to get some Southern American subscribers in here, you know? Copper America in 2019, being held in Brazil um, for the 46th time. Not in Brazil, as in the 46th time the tournament has been host, um, been made, I guess, or whatever, yeah. <laughs> Chile are the two-time defending champions at the moment, looking for a third. Do you think that Chile could do it? Yeah. So like I said, Brazil are the hosts. They got Bolivia to play first. That's the opening match, I think, on the 15th of June, I think, or the 11th, somewhere around that time. What makes this Copa America a little bit different is that Qatar and Japan are joining uh, the Southern American teams to play in the group stages, well, in the whole tournament even. Um, the reason being is because Japan got to the final and Qatar also got to the final and won the whole thing. And I think it has something to do with the 2022 World Cup as well. So it'll be a good chance for Qatar to sh to play some decent sides, I guess. I mean, they do in Asia, but like really, really like decent American sides, like um, Southern American sides, like Brazil, Argentina, you know. A couple of notable points, I guess. Neymar's lost his captaincy. Uh, Brazil, this is um, due to recent allegations, allegations, I would say, I need to say it, um, surrounding his uh, private life. I'm not going to go into it too much. I don't really want people like going mental at me and stuff like that. He's just lost his captaincy and that's all I'm going to say. Well, there are five or six players, I think five, that are sort of up and coming, that you may want to watch out for in the tournament because aside from your Messi's and your Neymar's um, and obviously the uh, Brazil squad as well I mean with three Champions League winners in there I mean come on like Alisson, Fabinho, all you know the household names there are some names that you may want to watch out for so I'm just gonna run them off here you got Everton for Brazil you got uh, Joseph Martinez for Venezuela of course he won the league with um, in MLS with um, Atlanta for the first time ever for Atlanta so that was really good he was lethal in the MLS absolutely lethal Nathan Nandez Nathan Nandez I want to say I don't know I'm probably pronouncing it wrong for Uruguay you've got uh, Willica Varines for Venezuela and you've got Santiago Aramendia for Paraguay these are two that those are people that you might want to watch out for maybe um, making some waves and uh, you know football and their respective clubs That's enough on the side news the you know the side news and that we're just gonna delve into it and predict the group stages of this tournament I've got it here on my phone I'm just gonna look at the groups and assess it um, mate I'm not gonna go off of a uh, previous results or anything like that just gonna predict the group standings not the scores just the group standings and um, I won't predict like the round of 16 or anything like that because it gets it gets complicated um, I think if you finish third place in your group I think you go into like um, not a playoff but you go into like a separate group and it's all done on like um, uh, like your record in that group or something similar to the Africa Cup of Nations like what they got going on down there but anyway group A we've got Bolivia, Brazil, Peru and Venezuela in that group um, you have to say that you can't really see Brazil tripping up um, against Bolivia or Venezuela really can you I mean they're hosting the tournament they've got the the host momentum behind them they have to feel like they ha they can get the maximum amount of points for this peru might be a little bit of a challenge for them um okay venezuela they've got some decent players but you have to think that brazil will top that group and then my second um sort of a, a place to pe uh team i would have to say probably either peru or venezuela i want to say bolivia are going to come dead last in that group 
Um, let's just go with Brazil, Peru, Venezuela, and Bolivia. That's the order I'm putting them in. Uh, if you want to tell me I'm wrong, then just tell me I'm wrong. But <laughs> it's just a prediction, okay? It's just my personal prediction. And, um, you know, I don't really know much about the Copa America. I had to research quite a lot about it. So, yeah, I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay, so you've got Group B with Argentina, Colombia, Paraguay, and Qatar in there. You can't... I don't really want to be offen offensive to Qatar, but I can't see Qatar picking up points in any of those uh, games at all. Maybe against Paraguay, but there's no way that Qatar are going to beat Argentina, and there's no way they're going to dispatch Colombia. So I'm going to have to say Argentina top, um, Colombia second, uh, Paraguay third, and Qatar fourth. Um, I can't really see much going on for Qatar in that group, honestly. I think Argentina would be dominant in that group. Maybe you could switch Colombia and uh, Argentina around, maybe. You could maybe put Colombia first, Argentina second, but they'll still go through. I think Paraguay are a solid third in that group. But, um, like I said, it's just a prediction, in it, by yours truly. But... Yeah, I can't see Qatar getting out of that group. Um, Argentina looked like the strongest team in that group. Paraguay, a sort of like bang average sort of thing. And Colombia, a little bit better. But basically how the group looks now, I'd say, personally. Okay, so Group C, um, which is the uh, last group. Uh, Chile, Ecuador, Japan and Uruguay. Wow, okay. So this is going to be a very hard group to call because... Although I said, oh no, I know Qatar won the whole uh, AFC thing, but they're in a quite a bad group. Whereas Japan are in an okay group for them. You got to think of how Japan sort of play. Um, yeah, you got to think that they would try and get points off of people like you know team like Ecuador. Um, so I'm gonna say Uruguay top. Because Uruguay are quite exceptional when they want to be. They do, they did they've done well in previous tournaments. Um, then I want to say Chile second. Uh, I'm going to say Japan third, and I'm going to say Ecuador fourth. Now, most of the people are going to be like, "Why are you putting Japan first? I just think that Japan could not some points off of Ecuador. You never know. I mean, like, that group is literally wide open, apart from maybe Uruguay being top. I think that Uruguay will definitely be the favourites to get out of that group. But um, the other three, it's, it's literally up for grabs. But for me, I personally think Chile probably would have the advantage there. So I want to put Japan third and Ecuador fourth. So you got basically Uruguay first, Chile second, Ecuador last in Japan third. Yeah, bit of an odd way to number it, but yeah. Um, so those are my group stage predictions for the uh, Copa America. We've got quite a lot of international tournaments going on in June. We've got like we've got like the Gold Cup. We've got the uh, Africa Cup of Nations. You've got the Women's World Cup as well. It's just like, how am I going to cover all of them? I'm not going to cover all of them. I'm just going to do little videos on them, hoping that people are just watching to find out my predictions. If you agree with my predictions, then why not give this video a like and let me know in the comments. Or if you disagree, then let me know in the comments as well. Um, let me know your predictions for the Copper America. Who do you think will win it? I actually forgot to say who I actually think is going to win the whole thing. I reckon that it's going to be Brazil. I think Brazil are very strong. They look really strong on paper. They've got so many good, op good options. You've got, you, you know, you've got the... the Brazilians from Liverpool um, winning the Champions League, of course, uh, last Saturday. Uh, you know, you've got so many decent Brazilians in that team. Uh, you've got Neymar as well, who, okay, he's been stripped of captaincy and he's involved in controversy, which could, in, in, you know, make his play a little bit funny. But that Brazil team is very strong. Um, if not Brazil, I want to say maybe Uruguay uh, to win the whole thing. Um, I... Why I don't say Argentina is because Argentina 
they've gotten to this stage time and time again and they've shown that they can't do it and I think well I mean it's their last chance I mean the pressure might just get to them and that's it so yeah that's what I think anyway um, I don't know if it's gonna be a good video or not <laughs> I hope I've provided some decent knowledge of my Southern American football probably not <laughs> you're probably all gonna have a go at me and say oh well Toby that team is really good you know like why are you saying they're gonna come forth or whatever it's like it's just a prediction I just thought I'd try it uh, try and get in some Southern American uh, viewership sort of thing anyway this has been Toba Loka if you enjoyed my video then obviously like it subscribe if you're new here with notifications on keep it loco and I'll see you again for the next video